there's something that we hear often and maybe even use ourselves, and that is the phrase, health equals wealth. Is that really true? Do we really believe that? In this video, I'm going to prove that it is in fact very true, and I'll show you exactly why and how. Welcome and thanks for tuning in. My name is Marcus Bailey. My goal is to help as many people as possible take control of their health and wellness, as well as provide tips and information to help make that journey more enjoyable and easier to stick to long-term. Time, money, and health is the foundation of all happiness and success. Essentially, all other things we pursue are dependent on having enough of each at varying degrees, and health is the only one that can help you manage the other two. Let's explore this with the help of some mathematical analogies and references to help prove that statement. Time equals money. This statement comparing time and money doesn't literally mean that the amount of time you have equals the amount of money you have because we all have 24 hours in a day available to use, but certainly don't all have the same amount of money in our bank account to spend. What it refers to is the fact that we trade time for money or that time wasted cannot be reclaimed to earn money. That's a basic interpretation. And of course, the amount of money we earn based on our time invested varies depending on what we do and what value is placed on us doing it. Think about it. You work, you get paid. You don't work, you don't get paid. And if you invest your time right, you can invest it once and get paid over and over again. But you still have to invest some time at least once. Wealth equals time plus money. Someone can be rich or well off, but if they have no time available to enjoy it, never get to see their family, or have time to pursue their hobbies or recreational activities, they are not really considered wealthy. This isn't about materialism and placing money as the only thing that makes you happy, but wealth is when you have the money you need and the time available to do what you want together at the same time. So where does health come in? In order for health to equal wealth, we simply need to prove that it creates more time. Time that can be used to earn money or invest in increasing our earning potential. Well, does it? Health creates time in three basic ways. Short-term time. This is what we would normally call energy. The energy to wake up, the energy to get moving, and the energy to keep going. We need diet and exercise habits that allow for energy efficiency at the cellular level, hormonal balance for mood and sleep, and a strong immune system to prevent acute illness. So on a short-term basis, the healthier we are, the less time we waste on dealing with being sick, and the more energy we have to take advantage of that time. Midterm time. An unhealthy lifestyle accumulates to create chronic conditions within the body that could have been reversed with early changes or prevented altogether. These conditions become a thief of our time in the form of treatment and a thief of our money in the form of healthcare costs. Money that we previously invested our time to accumulate, by the way. Long-term time. Simply put, we lose time when we lose life. As an example, an estimated 80% of cardiovascular disease, the number one killer, is preventable. We can add major time to our later years by the minor changes we make in the early ones. Health truly is wealth. Let's first define a healthy lifestyle as truly maintaining habits, practices, and routines that are based on physiological well-being and not emotional satisfaction. Don't overlook your daily health habits because unlike money, where you can see an immediate change in your bank balance when you spend more than you should, or time where you are constantly aware of deadlines and being held to a schedule, your health silently diminishes over time when it's not wisely managed. And our bodies don't allow for returns, refunds or reschedules. So take it seriously, invest in your health and subsequently your wealth. Drop a comment below and let me know if you think my math checks out and please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.